So this is my Redmi Note 10 Pro and I have been using the superior OS latest version on my Redmi Note 10 Pro. So I'll be gonna give you a full detailed review of this ROM in my Redmi Note 10 Pro. So if you're new to this channel and watches content regarding to custom ROM over Redmi Note 10 Pro, you must watch this video until the last and do a subscribe. So let's get started to the video. So this is the about phone section of the what you call superior OS over my Redmi Note 10 Pro. It is being equipped with the latest March 5th security update and the build date is Wednesday March 29 and the kernel version is Agishna R10 overused in this device. The serene status is enforcing which is very much important over any custom rooms and enforcing is much much important for this. I'll be using the I am using the G apps variant as you can see that and this is how about the phone section looks like. Now let us talk about the smoothness of this custom room in my Redmi Note 10. So as you can see that I am opening, closing any application sort of things and there is no jitter lag over scrolling the QS panels and if I adjust edit QS panels there isn't any issues sort of. So you can see that there is no issues with the uh, what do you say smoothness over there in this room and you can see that the scrolling is also good. Now let us talk about the benchmarks that I have done so far and what how does it performs over my Redmi Note 10 Pro. So this is the wildlife score as you can see this in my Redmi Note 10 Pro and 11 to 6 score is being mentioned over there and in this test the average FPS is around 6.70. It is about 4K 60 FPS test so that's why the scores is not much good. This is a slingshot test and as you can see that overall FPS is 55 FPS of physical test that is not so far good so I'll not what do you say tell about these things this is the Geekbench score of 705 and 1692 okay she score not a very much good score but yeah okay she score over there if you see that I have just opening Twitter and scrolling over there don't lag over 120 Hertz now let's talk under display section we are getting 120 Hertz I have set it to 120 Hertz both and if I select to 60 Hertz to both then you can see that there is what do you say lag over starting in this custom room so in my recommendation you have to use the 120 Hertz display in this what do you say device so far and there is nothing more much to talk about in the display everything I have been covered uh, is this. So first of all in about talking about the network and internet settings there isn't any issue with the network and internet so far yeah in sometimes there is a few call drops but is not much more this is a superior lab and you think you can see that the customizations over status bar is also been there and i have checked it out over there and it has been working over there so no issues with that also and Quick settings over there also. Data use vibrate on touch. If I generally do this, then it will gonna vibrate. The haptic feedback is also good on this room so far. This is a navbar option, gesture navigations, and there is not a much customizations added and considerations to other custom rooms. Power menu is there. Advanced restart option is also been there. The themes option is also been equipped with the headline body font. And there is nothing more new to talk about. This is the miscellaneous option over there. Unlimited photo storage is also there. So you have to gonna use unlimited photo storage in this room. Now, this is all for the customizations. If I talk about in the wallpaper style, you will get 6 cross 6 until the upgrade options. Theme icon is also there. In the app section, you get the superior launcher over there, which you can customize according to your usage. And there is all the customizations that is been provided over there and you can check it out at your own because if I told you it will gonna spoil it for your all. And talking much more about what do you say uh, in this talking much more about the sound and vibration we aren't getting any me sound enhancer yeah getting me sound enhancer doesn't mean that it is providing much performance over there security option fingerprint and face unlock is also been working over there there is nothing more talk about update is there and it is officially supported room so we are getting updater so far so now talking about we are getting the leica camera support over this room there is you can use the leica camera because there isn't an issue of green tint black crush over the these things and this is the 64 megapixel mode and it is working fine if I generally click over there and you can see that files by Google 
it will not going to open because we have to install the photos application also and we are also getting the dolby atmos support and dolby atmos support is working fine i have listened music so far i mean damn good in listening the sound and the quality of sound becomes too good now if i talk about the battery usage of my device you can see that i'm not happy with the charging itself the charging is not good and the battery backup is not such a good so if you have a light user then it will not a issue if you talk about the safety net status i will going to run the safety net status you can see that it has been passed so far and those who are asking me about the drm for the are we getting the l1 support we are getting l1 support and there isn't any issue over the l1 you are feel free to watch netflix over 1080p so this is my full and final review of this superior os 13 rom so if you going to really like this rom and you going to install this there is nothing uh, what do you say hard to install and please give a thumbs up to this video if you really did enjoy it and subscribe to this channel for more sake of content so my name is arav i'll going to meet you in the next video till then